Hi, welcome back to ODE YouTube channel. Today we have here a package from Caveco, as you may see, with new products for us to check out, the new releases. So, because it's like a Christmas time to me, I brought to the table my Victorinox knife, this winter something, which is a very beautiful one. And let's open this. Okay, so here we are. After some struggle with the package, I think now it is open. Uh, first of all, I have to say thank you for Kavec, to Kavec for sending me these items for review. Uh, I have to say also that the box seems a little bit kind of crushed. So let's see how stuff is inside. And that also helped help us to see how delicate stuff are. So, this round big sticker from Caveco, and then these, now that this, they put here the, the, sorry, this postcard with saying who packed this package. We have this postcard with history of Caveco, and then we have one of those stickers with Caveco history. So, this nice package comes with this black uh, silk paper. I'm not sure if you say silk in English, but in Portuguese it's papel de seda, so silk paper. Because it's very thin and delicate. And then we have these black stuff that I like a lot, it's very photogenic, and we have some stuff. This interesting package that says Caveco Collection, this package that is now open, I guess this may have been a little bit crushed, but it's not destroyed, and it says Ebonit Sport. We have a clip, another package, and another package. So I'll just take this out of the way and zoom in a little bit. There is nothing else inside and then I will show you what this is all about. So let's take a look at what we have here. So we have lots of stuff and I have here a box with just with uh, comparison items. And let's start somewhere. And the best place to start is, what do you think? Well, let me see, I have here something which is not a new release, but I asked if they could send it to me, so I'll show it in a minute. But I will start with this new Caveco collection. So this new Caveco collection item has this red package, which is a different package that I ever than I ever saw from Caveco. It has the logo there. It is kind of red and pinkish. You would suppose this one overlaps the other, so you think you could take. Oh, and yes, you can take it, of course. Uh, this is just a sleeve. Then you have this red thing, which is a very long one. And inside we have the new Caveco collection item. And this new Caveco collection pen is called Caveco. Hmm, let me try to take it out. Okay, this is the new Caveco Collection Perkeu Infrared. So this infrared is a red pen that is translucent. And it is a little bit, let me take, let me put this here just for fun. So it, 
I would I, I would expect it to be more reddish but it is not as much as I thought but it is interesting it is um, translucent it has um, silver engraving there which says Caveco collection the chrome plated uh, logo on top of the cap I hope you are seeing this it is a push fit cap it has the Caveco nib, this one is a medium one. It has a clear feed, which is a fun thing because it's very nice when you put the ink and you see the ink going through the feed. And then you open it and you have the an empty this empty cartridge, which I always keep because it's useful to refill. Oh yes, finally! This is something that I've been talking a, a lot about and I'm not saying that they listen from they listen to me, but this is something that I've been talking about. Mostly with Lamy and Caveco pens, when they release pens, why don't they match the color of the ink to the color of the pen? And this time they did. It is a cartridge of Caveco Ruby Red, and it makes all the sense to put the red ink inside. And if it doesn't make sense, you just put some other ink, and you even have. An empty cartridge you just have to fill it with a syringe i have a video about refilling cartridges so if you think it is interesting you can check it this is this is really 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 nice let me just adjust my exposure at least lock it so I don't have these changing automatically all the time. So this is an interesting Caveco Perkeo pen. Now, what can I show you that is different from many other channels? It's not that I have, I have more knowledge about pens. Okay, I know a little bit about Caveco pens because I'm kind of crazy or um, I don't know, maybe I'm just addicted to Caveco pens but I think that because I have a few one thing I can show you is how they compare their colors and so I have a light that I put here and I will turn it on like that it has a snoot so the, the light doesn't go any, everywhere you can see it, com it, comes from, it comes from there and I can show you the transparency can I show? Yes, can show you the transparency of the pen. So it's really transparent. It has this kind of frosty look, but not in a pastel-like way as you have on the Kavec Frosted Sport. I, I didn't bring the Frosted Sport here to the table because I didn't really know what was going on in this new pen, but I will show it uh, when I make the review. So this is the Perkeo with light shining through and this is without light this is how you'll find it on your table and this is how let me put this light a little bit down this is how you'll find it when you have the light going through the pen now for comparison i was i as i was telling you i have several things to say first regarding color I don't have many red pens I have to say and I have even less transparent red pens and I searched for a Caveco Ice Sport Red because this is a translucent red at least the cap and the section and I thought why not showing it and so you can hear you can here see the comparison between both this is much more pinkish this is much more a true red and let me bring them to the light and I hope you can see they are both getting the light through them and you can see this is much more red let me take the caps so you have a decent comparison about their translucency you can see them this is more frosted this is more real kind of a just transparent red and this is more pinkish this is more dark red both have the that light 
glowing through them as you can see so they are different colors they are really really different i wouldn't even say they are a match because this is more kind of a cool red this is a warmer red i would say so it's it's fun i think it's a nice one this is more kind of a strawberry pink um, in my opinion so this is uh, the pen another thing that i want to say is that it is fun because the caveco collection line started with the caveco uh, sport and we have several caveco sports then we had um, also the caveco special a red one we had the caveco lilliput a green one and now we have the perkeo so we are having they are going through their current models with the collection series so this is an interesting one i find it interesting it costs around 28 euros i will leave links below and i think this is an interesting pen so let me take this light away and we will keep going with the other packages i have here and let me put this pen aside so the next one will be this one this is a new pen new release also so this is a release from august september i think the, the official date is september and this is the caveco supra in black so it is an interesting pen it's not labeled as the Caveco collection, so it's not a part of Caveco collection, but it is a Caveco Supra. And Caveco Supra is a very nice pen because it is a big one and it has a big nib, but you can have it as a small pen also. These pens always, when I get a, a Caveco Supra, they always come a little bit unscrewed. That's something that happens. So the Caveco Supra is a pen that by definition it is made um, with these main parts so we have a cap you have section you have this middle part kind of an extender for the barrel and you have a barrel there the pen will screw so you can screw this part here it, it it takes another cartridge there so if you screw this part it squeaks a little bit or a lot if you put a cartridge there you can have two cartridge or a long cartridge and you have a normal sized pen and you can even screw the cap on the bottom of the pen and that way you have a very big pen because this pen is made of aluminium is very very light it's the first time that i have a actually it is the first aluminium super pen and it is very different from the ones that i already knew very very light and it it's quite comfortable in this size but if you prefer pocket pens you can just remove these middle section i hope you are seeing it i hope the noise is not too distraction too destructive you can put the middle part there you can screw this back on and you have a full size pen when kept when posted and you can of course take this out and then you have a pocket pen and it looks very very sweet in this for this pen they sent me this new release which is the caveco supra uh, clip so you can just slide it in i will not put it now but i will talk about it uh, in a moment so this is a very interesting pen in my opinion the supra in black one thing i have to say is that this black has i hope you can see that it has some texture it is kind of brushed longitudinally uh, along the pen it has these white markings with like a print imprint in white 
with Caveco logo and then Caveco Supra Germany. It has a number six nib opposed with that number five nib on the Perkeo. This one is also medium. One thing that I will think that can happen with the aluminium parts is that when you screw and unscrew and you can find it there is just a little spot there at the start of the of the thread you can have some uh, lacquer maybe like, like some chipping of the lacquer and in this pen in this case it may be kind of interesting if you have a worn um, look but you have to have that in mind that that may happen and you may not enjoy it because there are people that love pens as if they were always brand new and some people like to have their pens and use them and accept the use marks so this is the new caveco supra black and i will just bring some more pens to the table So this pen will cost you around 140 euros. It is nice, it is light because it's made of aluminium instead of heavier metals. And this is a, a Supra that is already available in three other finishes. The Supra is available in steel, like this one, which is kind of heavy. It is available let me search for it because I have it somewhere here. It is available in brass and it is available in steel but with a fire blue finish. I don't have that one. So it is a very nice pen. It looks great as you can see. These ones have more smooth finish. The black one is the textured one. You can see it is like brushed. It also has the retro clip like the two other ones that, that they have a bronze clip. So for some other comparisons, I want to show you some other uh, pens that will compare with this one. And let me just show you that I find it very interesting to have the Supra and to have the matching, uh, maybe having the matching Lilliput, but I don't have them yet. So for the brass Supra, I don't have, but I have the copper Lilliput, which is a nice one. For the steel one, yes, I have the Lilliput. And the Lilliput, it's interesting because Lilliput, it's much slimmer. It has the same kind of clip, but smaller one, of course. It also posts very well it screws in place but it has a number five nib and this one has a number six nib as you can see but they are both beautiful pens the supra it's wider and when you take this middle section away you get a pen that is kind of a pocket pen in the same size range as the Lilliput but more comfortable because it's wider not that comfortable to write with like this but as I told you you can just post it and and now I, you screw this on place and there you have a full size pen like the super like the Lilliput but the Lilliput is much thinner so you can see it so this is interesting I, i'll have to have the brass one day but because they were releasing the black one i talked with caveco and asked them if they could send me the black supra so i could make some comparisons the the brass one is the same as the, the supra in brass I don't have it yet the steel is the same as the supra in steel but the black one comes in this box that they sent me with a sticker and the leaflet and let me take the pen out take the box away and 
here I have the Lilliput and as you oops and as you can see the Lilliput is the same kind of those and by the way let me bring another aluminium Lilliput that I have I have also the the silver colored aluminium so another aluminium Lilliput which is the um, how is this called this is the the Lilliput this is the collection Lilliput green so this is part of the cover collection as I told you very nice one so it is smooth finish the smooth lacquer and with the black you have the smooth lacquer and you have the supra in black and you have not a smooth lacquer so in this case the comparison is not clearly the direct one and you have also the Lilliput super engraving Germany Caveco all that they are very similar but the finish is not the same here it is because it is smooth on the top here also smooth on the top but on the sides it's not and because it's kind of more dull although this one is more really reflective this one looks more uh, looks less black than this one that's deep black so this is something that i will make a video about and with the comparison because i think it will be interesting by the way as I'm talking about Kavec, black Kavec metal pens or black metal Kavec pens, I brought here to the table also some other black Kavec pens in black. And for those pens, I have the AL Sport in black and also the more recent Caveco original, which was somehow a little bit cross-threaded uh, that's a, I have to make the review of this one and it's something that I've been noticing I have sometimes some cross-threading with that and you can see some wear on the on the threads but it still works fine but it's something that just happens and I'll talk about it when I'll make a video about it so this is the Kavec original as you can see let me show them you show them to you the AL Sport and the, the original they are black they are made of aluminium they are plated but they are uh, coated with this lacquer this one has a smooth finish but a more intense black this is a less intense black but also uh, they have kind of a matte smooth matte finish this one has a brushed finish and this one is a very glossy finish so different finishes to them by the way the this is the original 250 and the original 250 has the same nib as the Caveco Supra as you can easily see okay so i think this is enough about the supra i know this video will get too long but i guess it will be more for kind of caveco fans so maybe you won't mind a longer video with all these comparisons so these are the black caveco sport in metal by the way i just forgot uh, i showed you this one the perkeo infrared but i could i brought here to the table also the Perkeo All Black, which is a matte and it's not a transparent one, it's an opaque one, but with a black nib, black logo there. And I have the All Clear, which is, you guessed it, All Clear, except for the nib and the logo on top. So these are interesting. These pens, by the way, I have to say that to you, they have their engraved Caveco. I'm not sure if you can see it. It's not easy to show, but they have it on one of the facets. The new one has Caveco collection and it has some color on it instead of just being the, the texture. So we have this transparent, the all clear and the all black that I brought here just for kind of a comparison. And I guess this is all for this part of the video. So I just received the Supra, which is a new edition, the black Lilliput, which is a very 
old edition already and the Perkeo infrared. Let me take them away from the, the field of view and let's go for the final pen of today. And this pen is the new, and this is the interesting one, because as far as I know, it has not been released yet. It is now on pre-order and it is the Caveco Ebonite. I would say that you can say, maybe you can say Ebonite, but it doesn't have the E on the end. So I will say Ebonite Sport. And it is the pen that celebrates the 140th anniversary of Caveco. You have this cardboard box, very simple, with this golden logo in celebration of 140 years. And then you have here the Ebonite Sport set. Includes one Caveco Ebonite Sport photo pen, nostalgic clip, gold-plated for Caveco Sport. One uh, 10, I'm not sure if you can read it, one 10-pack ink cartridges, various colors, and one Caveco sticker and manual. And for 140 years, Caveco has been writing history with high-quality high writing instruments and therefore is known as one of the oldest brands of its industrial sector. A heritage that is still reflected in the product design today. To celebrate this milestone and our loyal customers, we present you this limited premium set, which highlights century-old materials and craftsmanship in form of Scavec, Ebonite Sport and accessories. So, about this, I have some things to say, and this may be some new, some all other discussion for some other kind of video. Kavec has not been always a brand. It has it has went it went through some issues, some bankruptcy, and so on. So it is in this current life of Kavec since the 1990s, and I think that they really are making some real um, homages to their old pens. And I think that's it. That is interesting. I feel that the newer Cavecos have the same kind of feel as the feel in the hand as the other ones. The materials may be different, the feeling system may be different because evolution happened, but the pens are, I think they are quite faithful to their history and I like that. And that doesn't happen with all the modern brands that go back in time and get their old or the old brands that get revived and try to be as they used to be, but not so much. So this pen will cost you around 375 euros. And let me show you what we have here. So we have this part, which has the same, I think it's the same thing that was the, in the back. No, it's not exactly the same thing. It has a little bit different text there. It has the leaflet with the instructions and they say something that Ebonite, can you see it? Ebonite is tried and tested is a tried and tested material which is composed of natural rubber and sulfur. The material can emit sulfur which leads to a patina on your writing instrument. This is a natural process and shall not be viewed as a sign of degradation or a defective product. To obtain the original state of the material, you can simply polish your writing instrument. The fumigated sulfur develops a greyish surface. It is also possible that the breeze build up around the threads of the cap. Sunlight will speed this natural process up, so prevent long periods of direct insulation onto your Kavec Ebonite Sport. And they have here the instructions. And let me open these. And I find the pack package quite nice. It's all, it's not something that's very special that you'll keep as a box. I would say for the price, you could have maybe kind of a wooden box or something like that. I understand that because it can be a collectible item, but if you are like me and you have many, many Kavec Sports, you'll be thankful you won't have a special box. So my suggestion to Kavec, if I'm, in title of making one, I would just 
make two kind of presentation boxes, one like this in cardboard and one a little bit fancier. And the fancier one could be, for example, to, to gift someone as a special package. And for people like me, this is more than enough because it's just paper. So we have the leaflet with the Caveco history and we have the sticker in black. Inside we have the clip, the gold plated clip, which is very, very shiny. We have, let me take this out, the nostalgia clip. And we have a box of cartridges like this with, I think they have all the, how does this open? I guess it's like this with the range of Caveco inks. Yes, I think they're all there, except for the, that highlighter, highlight yellow. It's nice to have, so you can try them, but I think it's much more fun to have one of those, uh, how, how is that called? Rotate and out, the little blue thing that you can, rotate and you have several different uh, colors of Caveco cartridges that you can try. Now the light here, sorry, went uh, without batteries. I will just replace the light and I'll be right back. Okay, and I'm, I'm back with the light with a light with a new battery and I hope that one won't fail also because this video is getting quite long. So so long for a just a op just an unboxing video but you know this pen is just gorgeous i'm not sure if it, if i can make it show i can show it on camera so it's very beautiful it says Kavec ebonit sport there it has gold trim and let me see if you can see the texture and the color but i don't think i can show it really looks like wood grain. I think it's very, very, very beautiful. It is a pen that I would say it reminds us of some uh, Caveco art sport. It's very, very nice, very beautiful. I, I really like it. I really, really like it. You have the nib there. It's not a gold nib, so the pen is not inexpensive and it has a steel gold plated nib, a blue cartridge inside, no converter, but I don't think Caveco converters are that useful. I like to have them on transparent Caveco sports because they look nicer, but they are not that much useful. So it looks very nice. I think this one will look great with the clip on. You just have to be a little bit careful so you don't scratch the pen look at it i really think it is very very nice the, the the material is very beautiful really beautiful so about that what can i say about the caveco ebonite sport or ebonite sport i think it is an interesting pen it's really light because it's made of ebonite i don't have many ebonite pens to compare with but let me talk a little bit about it so i have here a very old cafe a very old pen which is a, a cow pen it is maybe 100 year old pen and you can see the kind of uh, oxidation that ebonite can have here it is more brownish, here it is blacker, blackish, and you can see it really here on the cap. This part sh used to be protected by a clip and the rest is not, and it changed the color really. So you may not like that, but it's the part of aging. I have here another pen from Caveco, and this is a nice one, and it has a chasing on the barrel. It looks great very thin and long you can see there it has a strange it is kind of a strange pen because it the model is caveco 579 but it's really the caveco eyedropper 1910 which is a 
also a revivalism of a, not an older pen and this one yes it does have it's not longer made it was a limited edition it has a gold nib i'm not sure if you can see it but it is a gold nib it has also a number five nib so a small nib although this is a big pen but older big pens used to be um, with smaller nibs i would say so this is an interesting pen this one has already developed some patina but it is a black one this is a brown and black one like wood grain this is very 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 beautiful this is really really beautiful if you showed me i would say it is a caveco um, art sport so speaking about other caveco colors i brought here to the table the fontoplumo chocolate brown and the chocolate or tabac from some years ago which is a very dark brown and you can see this one this is a much i'm not sure if this light helps this is a much more beautiful with some color change much more beautiful much much richer much beautiful much more visual than this one this is more reddish this is just brown i really like it and i also i also want to show it next to a caveco art sport i just brought one but i'll, I'll show the when i'll make the review i'll show you more stuff this is the very hard to find generation 2 caveco amber sport caveco uh, art sport amber and you can see it's very different because this one has some chatoyancy so it has some depth on the barrel on the material this one doesn't it looks really like wood but the color on this one is very subtle very very nice so it's different by the way this pen i think it may be interesting if you are collecting kind of simple materials so you have the ebonite the pen made of ebonite you can have a pen made of bronze cavec sport bronze cavec steel sport the brass sport you can see this have some patina this also will age the al sport raw that ages but in a different way it's not like oxidation but it gets lots of wear and scratches and finally i just have to show this because i love it the sterling sport because i have one and i'm so happy and so proud of having one and thankful to Kavek because they sent it to me and this is a beautiful one that has lots of patina as you may see that i helped to grow and there it makes some scratches because the cap always scratches the barrel when it is kept but that's the way Kavek goes it has an this has been inked i think since i ever got it with Kavek caramel brown ink and it is all made of sterling silver and it's very heavy and but the nib is made of gold very very beautiful so i think if you want to have some kind of materials you have this one and if you ask me what is missing now i can just throw in the in these two or three titanium copper would be perfect copper copper and why not a micarta one i would love to see a micarta uh pen. so i love this in this way this one looks a little bit shorter just a little bit but it is a very very beautiful pen and just to finish this video i just want to show you i don't have many ebonite pens but i have a few these have some also some uh texture like wood uh and these are have some ripple effects these are some indian pens i don't know if they all even have some brand i have also these this is a um, this is a i can't remember the name it is a very big pen but it has quite a small nib it's a number six nib for such a big pen this is a varuna gajendra i think it's the name of the pen very big it is an eyedropper and it is full of dry ink because i never used it again so but it is a, an interesting pen because it's very big this is kind of a mottled green and then i have two other pens 
when is this Parker DQ, which is an old version of, of a pen similar to a Parker Do Fold. It is very beautiful, and you can see it is also ebonite, it has some lines there. And just for also to check, I have here a, this is a Penteo Bonita, which is a big pen made of ebonite. And in this pen, you cannot now see, you can't start to see the color change yet, I don't see it, but we already are seeing some change in the shine of the pen. It would be, it used to be very reflective. You can, the cap is still a little bit, but the barrel is becoming duller. It, be, it is part of the aging process of ebonite. Even when, when you rub it, you'll find that kind of a rubbery smell. So this is what I had to show you. Very long unboxing video, I know. Some people will hate me on the channel, but maybe if you are used to come here, you'll like it. So this is the new Ebonite, the Ebonite, Kavec, Ebonite Sport, maybe the star of this video. I know people will say it's too expensive, it's too something. I really like it. I have to thank Kavec for sending it to me. We have the Perkeo Infrared. I have the Supra in black, which is really, really amazing finish. If you want to have an idea of what this is, think about the Lamy 2000, but in metal instead of Macrolon. And finally, this one, the Lilliput in black, which is not really a new pen, but I asked it for just for a comparison with the new Supra. These are the new stuff that are coming out from Caveco. I told you the prices. I talked a lot about them. You can check links below. I'll try to leave links for all the other pens that can be still purchased, like this one and not for this one because you will not find it anywhere, at least consistently. But I'll leave links for what is possible to get. So I hope you enjoyed this video. Sorry for being this long, but this is ODE channel and ODE channel runs like that. <laughs> Maybe if you like shorter videos, you can go to somewhere else. So I thank you so much for watching because I know some people will watch it and we will meet again soon for some other videos. I will review these pens and talk more about them in further detail. So thank you a lot for watching. I'll be back soon. Bye.